So let's um, continue our discussion about empirical formulas uh, by looking at these four uh, molecular formulas and giving the empirical formula that correspond to each of these molecular formulas. Okay, so what is the empirical formula relative to the molecular formula? Can anybody tell me? So shortened, uh, better way to say it is what? The lowest whole number ratio, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I get what you're saying, right? So when we look at this molecule here, this is acetylene. So if anybody knows about welding or whatever, that's the stuff you use for welding. Um, it's C2H2, right? So if we're doing what we talked about, what would the empirical formula of this one be? CH. CH, okay? Or we might want to say C1H1, but remember, the one is implied, so we don't have to put it, okay? So no big deal, just CH, okay? And now that everybody knows how to do it, let's try this one down here. What? Yeah, ever, just shout it out. C1H2O1. Well, do we put the ones? No. So what is it? C? CH2O. Yep, CH2O. And how did we do that? We divided everything by 6, right? So divide C, 6 by 6, and we get C. H12 by 6, we get H2. O, 6 by 6, and we get O. Is everybody okay with what we've done? What about this one, carbon dioxide? Yes, Same thing, yeah? Because we can't divide it any uh, further. So the empirical formula, CO2. And what about B2H6? BH3. Okay, so if you knew how to do this, you wouldn't have to, of course, on a quiz explain it to anybody. So it should take you about maybe two seconds to write all this stuff, okay? So again, I want you to think about that timing, you know, and make sure you're using your time wisely and appropriately, okay?